All right, so we're back. The chat hasn't loaded anything. Again, I don't know if you all are talking or not. If you are, it's not working. And if you aren't, then start talking. These are my underwear hanging up right here. Walking in woman's underwear. You know what you're doing, so. Yeah. Most of the time. We each have our own. Uh, so apparently, right now, there is a um, teaching going on in Judson Memorial Church. Um, there's also uh, free HIV tests, they're doing swabs, uh, free health care today. Um, and then uh, we got a bunch of stuff going on here. We got all the tables set up, doing some awesome outreach. And then uh, two o'clock will be the march to all the different hospitals that have been closed around he these parts. Um, so it should be pretty good. Um, we got a few cops here now, but they seem to be leaving us alone for the most part. Hello, Stacy Lanyon. Good. How are you? How's everything? Good. Yeah. I love. Fuck. I'm gonna be wearing those. Yeah, I know in like you are. a couple minutes. I'm excited. I got pantyhose on. <laughs> Watch out the pantyhose. <laughs> Those are mine. They're free. Actually, I think I'm going to put them on now. They should be dry. I'll take a picture. Okay. Wait till you see. I'm going to be wearing my boots and my vest and my panties. Oh, no. Come back, panties. All right, so I'm going to try and get these panties on. Hey, Lauren. Honey, can you hold the stream so I can put my panties on? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hand the stream off to Lauren for a second. I know. <laughs> uh uh. Ain't no privacy. Good morning, everyone. Turn I am around. making a debt monster right now, which is in the works. So this is my new debt monster, and uh, I'm just starting out. So please bear with me. But th I'm going to show you guys how I make a debt monster. And so here's here is a big debt monster, and this debt monster is especially bad. He eats puppies. That is terrible, terrible thing. And then we've got this one. This is like a fiesta debt monster. He's, he's just celebrating all the money that he wants to devour. Very, very cool. And there's a little finished set monster. That's what mine's going to look like somewhat. And I am done. Okay. So here I am. Let's start this up. So I'm writing Fight for a Resource-Based Economy, because to me, that even as far-fetched and as grandiose of an idea that it is, that is what I'm dreaming for, and that's what I'd love to see, to see all the abundance of the resources that have been hijacked from us and sold back to us at retail profit prices. I don't think it's fair. And I don't think it's it's doing anyone any justice. So for me, that is what I dream of, and that is what I fight for. Because as long as the monetary system exists, debt will exist. And until our country can learn to see the alternatives beyond the paper dollar that has no real value, debt will always exist, and people will always be enslaved fighting for that little piece of paper. That's what it's about. Hey! Hello! Good seeing you. We have Stacey Lanyon, who's usually the one behind the camera, and I just got to get a, a candid shot of her. Very exclusive. Hard to, hard to come by. So cool to be here. And of course, we've also got the Screen Printers Guild over there, and oh my goodness, the pants are on, ladies and gentlemen. The panties are officially on. And his booty is in full view. 
I'm going to have to sneak up behind him, and and the step monster will have to wait momentarily because this is this is too too funny. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Everybody's going to know what a great booty Jack has now. It's it's out of the bag. Strike that. If this doesn't encourage you to strike that, then I don't know what will. There you go. Let's get a close up, honey. Hold on. There it is. Strike debt. <laughs> Strike debt, everybody. If that doesn't get some attention, I don't know what will. I don't know what will. I just hope it gets the right attention. It might be a little bit distracted from from uh, the message by the booty itself, but hopefully it uh hopefully it gets on through. <laughs> awesome. The creativity of Jules never ceases to amaze me. She is an incredible hard worker and plans on just keeping the designs coming. I love it. And it's a gorgeous day here today in Washington Square Park. The weather is beautiful. The sky actually looks really nice. The clouds are fluffy. And it is windy as hell. Things are flying all over the place. I'll help you out. Get that up. Why is it always windy when we want to bring out signs? Why is that? Let's see. Maybe that'll stay put. So that is a really cool, it's supposed to look like a medicine pill. And it says, Are people talking on medical debt is a hard pill to swallow. Oh, shizzle. No, the chat isn't working for somebody. Yeah, I'm sorry that the chat isn't working, guys. We, uh, we are not getting the best reception here. No, it's a little bit... The hot spot is fine. Well, the hot spot seems to be working, but no chat. So I don't know if J maybe Jack will be willing to go down for a moment, bring it back up, see if it can work again for okay. you guys, so you guys Hold can on. talk to us, because that would be nice. Here, I'm going to put the hot spot in your other pocket. Hot spot here. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Aww. <laughs> You're going to be cold. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, let's fix you a little bit, honey. <laughs> oh, my goodness, hon. You know you want some of this, Dad. Let's say it Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Honey. Oh, Lauren, I want you to like face me and then him to yeah. Should I be over there so you can have the cops in the background? <laughs> having... Right. The wind is not our friend today. The wind is not our friend. I like your look. <laughs> If this doesn't encourage people to strike debt, I mean, I don't know what will work. Okay. And then you face me. You face her. <laughs> Gotta have the cops. Some of the uh, boys in blue. Not too many yet. Maybe some more will show up. I know they're anticipating the march that's going to be happening today. Uh, there is a march that is leaving from Union Square today. It's probably going to be getting started any minute now from there. And uh, I do believe there will be a march leaving from here. So far, just a little modest crowd hanging out. We have, uh, we have a bunch of uh, different Occupy groups here today. Um, quite a few people focusing on the medical debt in this country, which Jack and I both have quite a bit of. Uh, it's one of the hardest things uh, to avoid, you know, when, when you're sick and you don't have insurance. You got to go through the ER and uh, usually walk out with a with at least a few hundred in a in a bill that you can't afford to pay. And even though they can't really come after you for for medical debt, it does make it really difficult. It just make it difficult to get continuous care uh, when you constantly have these bills amounting. Um, it's hard to get the the care that you need, especially if you need surgeries. If you need any kind of attention that requires a special, uh, a special visitation or a specialist, you know, such as a, a 
a podiatrist or a gastroenterologist. These are things that are normally not covered um, even by regular insurance. So we've got a uh, we've got a banner right here. Let's see what this. Says. Um, the um, pharmaceutical company. Single payer, universal public health insurance, expanded, improved Medicare for all. I am a doctor for the 99 percent. Inequality makes us. The ones that manufacture a CAT scanner. Makes us scanner. sick. Us being the U.S. You know, and there's a uh, there's a chart down here which is really so, interesting. Uh, guys they can... would they and the pharmaceutical companies would make less money. Um, not a lot less. Oh, it's they working. Still getting the same amount. Hey, Susie Q. Yay, chat's working. The same company. Hey, Susie. Susie, get a load of these. But these I, that, panties, I'm, Come you know, the same drug, strike the that, strike that, the exact same <laughs> you're going to sit on his debt today. I think it's blood, I think I cut it on my sharp ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's got the uh, clunker boots on, uh, calm down. So this is quite an outfit here, he's got the Frankenstein boots, he's got pantyhose, The, the pretty pink panties, of course, the the world famous vest, and uh, yeah, that that big old gorgeous booty. Jack does have a nice ass. He hides it in those baggy pants he wears, but it's it's out today. Cat's out of the bag. Jack has a lovely booty, everyone. Lovely booty. I know, I know, Susie. <laughs> He said he was going to do it last night, and he is holding up to his brothers. <laughs> Susie, last night, uh, Ping was on the stream, and she was rewriting Walking in a Winterland, Walking in a Winter Winterland, to fit the... I think it was the, uh, another song that was already written. She was just saying what it was. I think somebody already got it. I have heard Walking Around in Women's Underwear. That might have been a Weird Al Yankovic song. Hi, baby. It's complicated. Yeah, are you cold, Jack? That's not a nice one. What's up, Casper? The proper word for your mom. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Good. Do you want to spike that yet? Jack, are you freezing? I mean, I I'm not, I don't know if He's staying warm. I mean, it's nothing more <laughs> I'm warm for right now. Lovely. 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 Except maybe check out the church. What's up, cops? This guy's giving me the evil eye over here. All right. You want a pair of those? Um, hold on. Talk to Jules. Get the website and all that. Um, give well, a it's a combination of public education. So, so Jewel, the advertising of the the panties is working. How do we get a we, how do we get a pair of those? Um, we should put it on our website. Unfortunately, right now we only have small and medium, but they do come in pink, lavender, white, and blue. Um, for now, just send us an email at OWS Screen Printers. Uh, OWS Screen Print Co-op at Or you can visit our website OWS Screen Printers dot com. Yeah, and send us mail through there. And we have it up on the website. Just send us an email. Let us know your size and you know which print you want. And uh, and we will contact you and get it out to you. Awesome. Hey, thanks for supporting. Yeah, they're they're definitely hitting it off positively. And these are some of the shirts. We have a lot. I love this print. Actually, all of you people out there, the Occupy Sandy shirts, because those. 100% of the profits for these go to the Sandy Relief Fund. These are on our website. They're a little bit more. They're 20, but it's a three-color print. These guys did a fantastic job on it. I love them. They look beautiful. They've been selling like crazy, so get one. We have all the different sizes and stuff. And yeah, I mean, it's a great way to show your support for Occupy and also give a donation to a really worthy cause. For sure, for sure. This is so nice. You guys, I know you can't see the texture, but it's, it's really beautifully done. This is professional work. Really great. I love what you guys do. We use sustainably sourced t-shirts. One of yeah. the things that we're really into is promoting um, fair labor practices and sustainable apparel. So um, a lot of the website shows are... Um, Recycled bottle t-shirts is actually made out of old soda bottles. That's 
badass. So this t-shirt. These are Sprite bottles. Yep. These t-shirts are made out of Sprite bottles. This, this green one here, that's awesome. And it yeah. feels so soft, the blue so nice. Blue. The light blue is water bottles. And here's another light blue shirt made out of water bottles. Wow. That is what we should do with our garbage. This is the. <laughs> this is what you can do. So who's to say, you know, it's a, it's that saying, every man's trash is somebody else's treasure. And uh, all you got to do is think outside of the confines. This is probably one of my favorite prints. Little rooster on top of the fist. And we've got the ballerina on the bull. And the 99%. Oh, this is a great one. Don't frack it up. Yeah. That's Jose Jose that. That's awesome. So Jose, Jules, uh, other half, he designed this. This is so cool. Don't frack it up. I'm going to do a patch, Jules. That's right. We've also, for anybody who didn't get to see uh, the stream last night, this is one of the new patches as well of Rosa Parks. It says, I would like to be remembered as a person who wanted to be free so that other, pe so other people would also be free. And Rosa Parks, of course, arrested countless numbers of times protesting and standing up for herself and, and all women and oppressed people everywhere. And it's, it's such a beautiful thing to see her immortalized on an OWS patch. I love this fabric. So, yeah, if you guys... I know it's really hard to see the tag, but the tags on these are really great. So this, uh, this company that makes this, it's, uh, it says Playback Fabric. So that's the recycled company made out of soda bottles. And then as well, the uh, other shirt uh, that they use, it's called Royal Apparel, and it's 50% organic cotton and 50% RPET, recycled polyester. So all um, used materials, reused and redistributed to make beautiful things. Really a great thing. And there is the Don't Frack It Up in a Bag. Very, very cute. I love it. Fashion with a message. That's right. That's what it's about. Love you guys. Love you too. <laughs> Here's another great one. This one is just fresh off the press. And it says, patients, not customers. Healthcare for the 99%. And that's what it's about. It's about bringing back the humanity to how we treat people who are sick and how we, we look at healthcare. That yes. people are not just buyers of health. Learn about your outfit. My outfit? Yeah. Well, this woman can tell you about my outfit. <laughs> Looking for the website. Oh, okay. Well, it should be owsscreenprinters.com. Um, so if you put that in OWS and then screenprinters, I think it's all one word, dot com, should find it. If not, I'll. Uh, <laughs> I'll ask Jules what we can uh, what we this can do. This doesn't make you want to strike debt. I mean, I don't know what will. So Jules, it's uh, it is owsscreenprinters.com, right? Yes. People are having a little bit of trouble finding it, so hopefully they can. www.owsscreenprinters.com. Yeah. I think you have to put in the www sometimes to get found. Yeah, you can definitely try to Google it. If not, um, because that should come up. Usually, if you Google anything, it'll yeah. you'll find it eventually. It's kind of confusing because the website is owsscreenprinters.com. And our email is owsscreenprintscoop at gmail.com. Gotcha. So if you don't find us online, send an email or just Google us and you'll find one of our things. We're on Facebook too. <laughs> All right. Request for the outfit, Jack. You need to strike a pose, honey. Strike a pose. Bam. There it is. Strike debt panties. And these are pantyhose to match with the panties. Yeah, we got to put some patches on these pantyhose. We do. We do. It's going to be kind of hard to sew that delicate fabric, but we can figure it out. Alright, yes. <laughs> yes. This is the Screen Printer's Guild Fashion Week. I am donning many of their patches. You really are. You're just a walking billboard for the Screen Printer's Guild. It's really great. I did not wear my patch jacket today. That jacket, unfortunately, is not cold enough. But I, uh, I do plan on bringing it out this week and representing. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow during the march that we're covering, the uh, Kamani Gray March. So definitely, guys, tune in for that tomorrow. At 3 o'clock. At 3 o'clock. Yep. 
Oh, this is so funny. The movement always needs a sense of humor. That's what gets us through. <laughs> awesome! Cops are getting jealous. Glad you guys found the website. You're getting fantastic sight. They're loving it. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah, these guys work so hard. You know, anything that they can get. Yeah, I see. I, I do one of those things. I say guys is a universal term. These, these lovely people. So good. And we've also got a lot of other. Yeah. I'm going to go peruse all of the carts and vendors and tables and all the little things that are set up so you guys can get an idea of uh, what's going on. So I'm going to start down on this end with the Center for Community Alternatives, Innovative Solutions for Justice. Hello. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Them. Definitely. Say a little bit about what CCA does. Sure. We are an alternative to incarceration program, alternative detention, and we work with young people involved in the, in the court system. Definitely, that's and great. So Caitlin and I, Caitlin is actually on the other table there. With yeah. Our oh, okay. Very cool. And, um, we actually run the um, the comprehensive adolescent pregnancy prevention program for young people. And so we're out here trying to educate folks on HIV and AIDS, STDs, mm -hmm. overall safer sex. So definitely anything you see on the table, feel free to grab some. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, they did a great job. They were catching everybody that was coming into the park, letting them know that there was free HIV testing today. And I was happy that they were doing the swab test. Because a lot of people don't like needles, and I, I don't like getting blood work unless it's absolutely necessary. So it's great that they have that available today. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Twenty minutes um, HIV test. You know, it's a quick swab of the mouth, and you get your results in twenty minutes. It's a very accurate test. It's over ninety-nine percent accurate. Yeah. And um, you know, you can get your results immediately. So I mean, it's, it's a great thing what we're doing here today. It really is. You guys are great. And see, guys, they've got some preventative materials available for free and lots of literature available as well to help us educate our youth because that is what makes the difference. Education is the key to liberation, it's the key to understanding our world and preventing ending up in jail and, and ending up in situations that we are trapped and helpless. So it's really, really important. I actually was just on the subway and I saw a ad that said, it had a little picture of a boy crying. and it, and it said, I am twice as likely to not graduate high school because my, my mother had me as a teen. And, and I'm just like, oh, that is a terrible statistic. And that is so sad. And I, but I don't think that really helps to address the problem. Like, yeah, that's a blatantly terrible statistic. But, but what do teen moms do then? Okay, so they, they've got a 50-50 shot at getting their kid through high school. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. It's the education and helping mothers and their, their loved ones and all work together. And we share a lot of those statistics in the presentations that we do. And sadly, you know, they can be impactful like that. Um, but you know, it's, it's a little bit of reality. And so if it is. Event getting there, then we can, uh, you know, we can make an effort. Well, that's about it. It's important that people understand that that's the likelihood and that that can be the outcome. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that there are the, the solutions and the, that, that we are offering something. But that's the thing, you know, it's like, Get the quote, you know, um, I think complaining, something like complaining without offering a solution is just, it's, it's just complaining. It doesn't do anything. So, yeah, this is great. spoken out against those ads because they're really kind of like going off shock value and scare tactics. It's kind of offensive. There's one that's like a baby crying and it says, it's not, not going to stay with you anyways. That's that's terrible. That's horrible. That's really terrible. Yeah. Yeah, and and that is that's always been my gripe is that you know okay you can show you can show the shock value you can get people's attention, but then you really need to plug in that here here is the alternative here's a solution here's how we can offer to help and really make that connection with people while you have them there, and if they don't make that connection then people are just going to turn away in disgust and. You know, there, there's not that opportunity to connect, I think, yeah. you know, so, so definitely. I think that's why also, you know, fears like this are, are key, because collaborations are, are the key for making those things happen. For sure, yeah. So we've got some brochures here. Very cool. I'm going to take one of these with me.
and little pamphlets. These things are great. I don't know if you guys can they see these too well. Oh, these, yeah? These are, actually, these are actually gold. These are our very resourceful hand guides for young people. And it shows you, this is from the Department of Health. It shows you where they can get free condoms, birth control, emergency contraceptives, STD, HIV testing. And um, it tells you everything from the five boroughs, from the Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Staten. And you get, it has some nice little stories there yeah. for some young people. And um, you know what they've gone through, how easy it was to get tested, how easy it was to get treated, all of those kinds of stuff. And that is, that is so... Um, that's so comforting that, yeah. that young people can, can meet other young people who it's like, hey, th I did it, I got it, and this is how you can do it yeah. too. And then there's, there's that sense of like, okay, my peers are doing it, it's okay, I don't have to feel uncomfortable. That's awesome. All right. You know, you have to talk to people through the screen. And we got some food here. Hi guys, how you doing? Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> good, good. This is awesome. Very cool. So who provided the food today? I'm not sure. It just showed up. It just appeared. Isn't that a beautiful thing? <laughs> That's great. Free food from Anonymous. <laughs> There you go. You are not alone. One of my favorite patches. It is one of my favorite patches. If you guys have seen that patch, it's the one in the little tent with the sound bubble. And it's got the talk bubble saying, you are not alone. For sure. Lots of literature. A lot of focus on the medical debt today. And all the free services that doctors are providing. This is really, really great. Health is so important, and not enough people have access to good health care. And it's really up to us in the community to provide for each other. That's the mutual aid. Oh, we got some Wow, this is quite a statistic. 62% of bankruptcies are linked to medical bills. Oh, that's a terrible thing. People go bankrupt just because of health care that they can't get. Here we go. a banana condom. <laughs> oh, there you go. Is that one of the vanilla flavored ones? And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. There, there are vanilla flavored ones. There are ground condoms. If you're going to love, put on a glove, right? <laughs> Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Every time. <laughs> Wrap it up before you smack it up. You know, whatever works, right? If it stays in your mind. Just wrap it up. Strike that. Strike that. And this is You Are Not Alone info. More of the same. Oh, it's um, strike that. That is available. The little red square that has become yeah, famous. We have doctors and nurses inside. You can consult with if you'd like to. We've oh. got a brand new report on how medical debt functions. Wow. This is great. This is awesome. So this is Death by For-Profit Healthcare. This is a new pamphlet that's just come out all about medical debt. And I know it's windy and it's hard to see a little bit. It's not online yet, but it will be soon. Very cool. Where can that be found? It'll be on the, the Strike That blog when, gotcha. it's, when it's available. Awesome. Just so everybody on the stream knows the exact uh, blog website, where can that be found? That's, that's at strikethat.org. Strikethat.org. Really easy to remember. Awesome. So new stuff coming out. That'll be available on the site soon. But you can go ahead and check out what they've got so far. These guys have been doing amazing work, helping to abolish debt randomly. And I think in Kentucky and Indiana, I heard, is yep. where they've been doing yep. it. Yep, so in Louisville. And so, Louisville. So uh, right at the border between Kentucky and Indiana, 1,064 people, $1.1 million worth of medical bills that they now don't owe. We're just getting started. We've already raised enough money that by the time the project is over, we should be able to do at least $12 million. Wow. That's a lot of debt. Making a little dent in it, you know? Yeah. That's where it's got to start. Yeah, That's where it's, it's got to start. It's got to roll into collective action. Most definitely. Well, hopefully this is the this is the spark, the catalyst that we need. You know. Exactly.
Exactly. Definitely. All right, Jack's going to go ahead and archive, and we'll be right back up. All right, folks, we're going to archive real quick. We've been trying to keep the videos to about 30 minutes apiece so people don't have to skim through hours of footage on one video. Um, so give us one second. We'll be right back. My butt is getting cold. Oh, now you're getting cold. Mm, I'm going to keep them on as long as I can.